we get the madambre. Madambre con risa, perfect. Yep. That's uh, the beef broccoli with potato salad. Oh, okay, awesome. Can we get out one each of the flavors of the empanadas? Of the empanadas, perfect. And the lengua. And la lengua la vinagreta. And then, um, can we get for the hot sandwich? Can we get the lomito completo? Okay, perfect. Then how do you guys like that cost? Uh, medium rare is medium perfect. Medium rare is perfect. Can we get the ensalada de Buenos Aires? Okay, the ensalada de Buenos Aires. And then, of course, the parrilla de Argentina. The parrilla de Argentina? Perfect. That's the one that comes with half meat and then nuts and verde and half chorizo, morcilla, and molleja. Very traditional. And that one we can do with, the, with, the, with that salad for that one. And the salad, okay. Yeah. And then uh, there was a dessert we were looking at. Yeah, the dulce de batata y queso y the milojas. Okay, una dulce de batata y yeah. queso milojas. Now I'll bring that out at the very end, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 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 Thank awesome. you very Thank much. Thank you very so much. I'm excited. This will be delicious. Yeah. So yeah, the chorizo, the morcilla, these are the two ribs here and the two uh, the other pieces of meat. It's like the chicken gizzard, like the chicken thing. Like some people like cooking it with that, but they like to, they like to take it out because it's better for me and it is better. They were just saying that they, they start to cook, when they cook it, they just do it with salt. Now they're gonna put it in tabarilla, which is gonna be really dope. It is actually the grill is just a nice way to get a smoky flavor. Just make sure you get everything that you need. It's just simple, quick, and easy, and a smoky flavor. Argentina is known for their for their meats. Like they're known for having the, some of the best meat in the world. Like they're very big on steak. Yes, this is para muy bueno. Like. Ah. So they put the thing on there so it doesn't stick to the grill, but it's also better because, you know, keep the seasoning on there, makes everything good, and on top of that, you know, you want that nice char to it. ¿Y cuál es la comida que te gusta más? ¿A mí? Sí. El lomo completo lleva... lleva dos. De todo, de todo. Está buenísimo. Okay. Oh, mira eso. So, eso tiene el, el jamón, el queso. So, lettuce, tomato, ketchup. Uh, Lettuce, tomato, ham, cheese, the two eggs, and then it's the ham cheese as well. That's what makes the, the difference. Oh wow, you've been here for 14 years. It's so como, 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 tres minutos. En cada, en cada, dependiendo en el carne. About three or four minutes on each side, give or take. It does depend on the meat, the size and the thickness of it, but he says, yeah, it's about, you know, give or take three or four minutes. Pimiento. Okay. So peppers, onions, lettuce, tomato, the artichoke hearts. So it's very simple. As you can tell, a lot of Argentinian food is just very, like, they want you to taste what the actual food is. So it's just, it's a very basic, but it's still very, very good. It's a nice big space, honestly. Even when they get busy, you can tell because of how big of a space it is, it's not, you're not really gonna like bump much. It depends also like how many more people they have, but it seems like it's usually them two and the third guy, but it's probably the one guy on the station, one guy here, one guy here, so it's not, it's not actually bad. It's a really good setup. Así es como lo presentan? Oh, okay, okay. So that's how they present it when they bring it to the tables. Una pregunta. ¿Tú puedes comer eso tú solito? Yo sí. Sí. <laughs> So I just asked him if he could eat that on his own. He said, yeah, I could definitely eat that on my own. So, I mean, it looks good though. I don't know if I could. Oh, wow. So that basically, that's, that's to tenderize it. So that's it has like the whole, so it tenderizes it so they can do it from their meal like that. It makes it flat, but it actually tenderizes to get everything going inside of it. I've never seen that before. That's actually something new for me. Oh, okay. Oh, they're getting really busy. So like you see, they were moving around. So we're gonna go over here. Um, the one thing I'm noticing about a lot of restaurants here, which I'm actually loving, which they, they need to have more, that they have these fans, these ACs in here, so they can actually stay cool even though there's a lot of heat here. So it's actually pretty good. So he's got some mayo on there. As you can see, I like this setup too. Most proper setups are going to be good. You know, they're going to have the simple, you know, peppers, tomatoes. So they want to have that on. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. That's what I usually do at home. If I make ham and I want something hot, you just put it on the frying pan, let it get charred on it, and then... It, just, it makes it a little bit harder, a little bit better. It's just, it tastes way better. Oh, that looks so good. I'm glad we got that though, because that's like, it's just solid. Oh, wow. Let me back up here for you. What is the sandwich that you like more? The lomito completo for me is the best. Now look at that. Putting the coals on it, that's awesome.
Oh wow. Kids are good. Okay, Sabi. Gracias. Suck, Sabi. Gracias, gracias. So let's go fall into the table. We're going to go ahead and show you what they have here in general. So we're going to start with here first. So if you go here, it looks really amazing. Uh, we are going to be trying this one and this one. This one looks like a tres leches one is what she was saying. It's like a mixture kind of thing. So we got some different chocolates. They have a lot of sandwiches. These are the sandwiches you guys can get. They're huge. Like, they're huge, huge. They're just, they're just enormous. So we have little sweets here. Here's chocolate. Now this is where it starts getting to the good stuff. Here's where they have the different empanadas you can get. And of course, they fry them. They re make sure they're good. They're probably like par cooks, which means that they're not fully cooked so that when you come to order them, they're good. Then you got your different salads, your, you know, your olives. Um, all the different meats and stuff that they have. They cut everything fresh here, so that's the one good thing. They have their own chimichurri sauce, which they sell, which is awesome, so make sure you come and get it. Um, they sell their own sauce here, so you can actually support the business. You can see here, they have their morcillas, their sausages, their different meats, their picanha, their short ribs, which is tira de asado, their top sirloin, which is churrasco cuadril. Um, this is all the different stuff that they make. They, everything here is fresh. If you want to get the really, really big ones, this is exactly what it is. This is where you come, you're going to get the fresh food. They're directly, you know, they're from Argentina, so that's, you know, beautiful. They love their food and they, you know, they make sure, you know, they show everything. So this is exactly what it is. Uh, I'm very curious to see the morcilla. That's, um, we, we fry ours, they put them on the grill. So it's going to be interesting to see what the difference is between Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican, and then here. But um, I, I think it's going to be really good. And I, I know for a fact, from what I can tell so far, I will probably order a few more to go just because you don't see it often and I'm not gonna just leave. I think the, the quality of the meat is gonna be something that, uh, I mean, as you can see here, it's very fresh. They didn't open it until they're ready to cook it. They get it day by day. Everything, they make sure they buy fresh quality, top quality, so you're not, I mean, it's Argentina. They're very proud of their meat, so I know they're not having crappy quality. They're gonna have good quality that you're gonna taste and you're like, oh my God, it's like, I want it. You know? <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you're in the kitchen, it's like, you, you can tell. First of all, they take care of their meat. They slice them very carefully. They're very careful how they do it. And when they, and of course, they put it on the barilla, they put it on the grill. So when they're grilling it, so you get that smoky flavor, the nice, you know, the, the charcoal or the, the, you know, whatever that they're using for it, which I believe is charcoal. But, um, you know, they're using, you know, everything to make sure it's grilled exactly as if it was in Argentina. You know, a little slice of Argentina here in Vegas, basically. Una pregunta, ¿qué, cuál, ¿qué es eso? Chorizo, that's, that's, uh, so that's amazing. They make, they do everything by hand. So that, that's their machine. So they actually make their own chorizo here. Look at that. So they're folding in the seasonings, everything that they have it, the meat, they're grinding it. What is there inside of this? Carne de cerdo and carne de res. And what? Carne de res. Carne de res. So there's two different meats. There's uh, pig and then carne de res, which is very delicious. Oh my gosh. So they're folding it over. They're making sure that it gets soft enough where it's going to be easy to put in the casing. And those are all the seasons that they're putting in it. You get the sal, pimiento, y diferente, diferente water. That's all just to be able to mix it easily and make sure you get everything in there really well done. You, the reason he's folding and doing all that is because you want to be able to make sure you, when you put in the casing that you know it goes in smoothly. It's a very smooth thing. You know, casings can break very easily, so you want to make sure that you know you fold it in nicely. ¿Ustedes hacen eso todo el día? Casi diario. Casi diario. Oh wow. ¿Cuántos libros hay ahí? Cinco libros. Cincuenta. Wow. Se huele, huele. ¿Es tu receta? Argentina, Argentina. Esto lo hizo en Argentina. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Y estuvo 10 años aquí, vendió, nosotros compramos. Sigue siendo argentino. Ah, ok. Él es argentino y está trabajando aquí desde que comenzó. Oh, wow. Look at that. So he's going to put them in here so that we can actually, uh, well, not for us, but they're doing because this is how much they do. But they do about 50 pounds a day, usually daily. And right now he's putting it in here so that they can go ahead and start getting ready to put it in the, in the links there. That smells, it, it's raw and it smells so good right yeah. now. It smells incredible. Like that seasoning and everything, salt, pepper, a bunch of different mixes and stuff. And it just smells really good. They have to make this on a, on a day. It's, just, it's a very popular dish. It's something that people order a lot. I mean, to make 50 pounds a day and it's still almost not enough, it's kind of crazy. That shows how good. Okay, so we have a bit of an Argentinian feast here. Everything from empanadas uh, to a steak sandwich, a meat platter uh, with 
actual charcoal grilling, cow tongue, uh, some more beef um, pancetta. Is that the right word when you mix the ingredients in, in amongst the, the meat? I just, uh, that's, I'm not sure. So that's, sliver, that's, beef that's, tongue, that's, beef, that's So that's the beef tongue. The beef tongue and the nut. And then that's uh, the beef with the broccoli. And then a special um, salad. Uh, that will go into more details as we move on. But let's go ahead and start with the empanadas here. Uh, we got six different ones. Uh, three were fried and three were baked. The baked ones were beef, chicken, and spinach. So let's see here. This is one of the fried ones. Uh, so that was the cheese only. Um, and let's go ahead and take a bite. It's a very nice, strong cheese. It's very flavorful. Mm. Has a decent mm. amount of grease for the moistness uh, of it, and then a nice flaky um, empanadic shell. Yeah, I love it. it. Just it's just super filled with cheese. It's you know it reminds me of home. It's a nice the empanadas, you know empanadillas. It's just it's good, it's delicious, crispy, flaky. Can't go wrong. You really can. It's just it's good. Ooh. Here's this one. That one is the uh, corn empanada. So let's uh, take a bite. Salty, creamy, kind of like a, a and, more uh, version of corn. seasoned cream corn. Almost, I want to say. Has, is, I think they put like maybe I love on it. This kind of reminds me of the cream corn from Thanksgiving. So you have a bit of sweetness from the corn, a bit of savoriness, then of course the, the flakiness of the uh, empanada. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really enjoy this. But it's just Guaraná. Brasilia is just Brazilian Guaraná. It's just a good energy drink or something simple. Um, like I said, it's just something I'm drinking it, but it's just delicious. Yeah, so not only is it a restaurant, but it's also a deli and a um, bit of an import store. They sell quite a few things here. They have everything from meats to the sandwiches to my favorite thing, which I'm, I might get one before we leave, is a little uh, Malta Goya, the little Spanish drinks. They're very, very big in Puerto Rico, but in general, they just have them everywhere. So we have one of the fried ones here. This one looks like beef. Of course, you guys, you can also I'm gonna put this on this side. If you want to put chimichurri on it, you can. I'm going to try a little bit without and then a little bit with. And these one looks like they've been stuffed with, um, with green olives, which should be quite tasty. Yep, definitely stuck with the green olives. It needs my approval. I have to hold another series of flavors to the beef. It's quite delicious. My chimichurri is good. That's uh, super delicious. That chimichurri is fresh, a little oily in a good way. Look at this out, I want, want y'all to see how good this is. Look at this. It's simple, oily, herby. It just has like this really good flavor to it. So here's the chicken. Looks like it has some nice um, extra spices to it. Some onion and pepper, um, peppers it smells like. That's good. It's not very hot at all, but you can definitely taste the pepper. Is there a spicy pepper in there? It's a red pepper. So you oh, can okay. taste the pepper. Oh, I thought you meant like spice, like, like uh, spicy pepper. I said it wasn't very spicy, but it does have a lot of flavor, a lot of moistness to it. And as you can see, that filled it uh, completely throughout the whole of the shell. It's delicious. Realistically, you can probably make a full meal off empanadas. I'd say, uh, you know, 12 it would be a, a, a pretty solid full meal. Spinach. Cheese. Probably. And they just call that their, their spinach empanada. So they, they do all the preparation for the empanadas ahead of time. So once you order them, they come out real quick because they just get either fried or baked uh, to finish them off and then served right to you uh, very quickly. Yeah, they're part cut, so they cook them only halfway. And then when the person actually orders them, like I said, they grill them, uh, bake them or, or fry them, excuse me. Which is good because you know you want freshness. So uh, it depends. It depends what kind of uh, baked or fried could be 
it depends on what kind of meat's inside. Fried is always going to be good no matter what you do, anyways. But so the way that they sub they divide it in the um, they oh, actually geez. divide the ingredients based off baked or fried. I just Nice and tense, um, ham. I'm still pulling towards the pretty cheesy. Surprisingly, the corn. I actually like the corn one out of all of them. I like all of these, but like the corn one is like my favorite. Just has the most um, unique flavor for you. Yeah, and I, and I don't do corn like that, which is weird, but. So overall, if you get one of each, you're going to be very happy with it. The empanadas are super nice and flaky. Fillings are full. Uh, very delicious. I, I, I'd say this is easy 9.5 and of the individual flavors It's between the corn and the spinach are my two personal favorites. I, think I like the corn and the cheese honestly Is it but also I'd, I'd probably for the entire dish. I'd probably go about the same With the corn. I'll get that one again. So let's do uh, let's do a little salad here You're gonna mix this up a little bit nice charred uh, red peppers um, Hard boiled eggs, heart of palm, uh, the lettuce itself, some tomatoes, and yeah, and then just a very uh, simple oil and vinegar. And of course, you know that you can choose, they have the different things you put on, but the, the traditional is just simple salt vinegar. When it comes to Argentinian food, <coughs> excuse me, um, they don't really over season things, not over season, but like put go above and beyond on seasoning certain stuff because they, they really want you to taste the, the originality, the actual flavor. Argentina is known for their meat um, and they're definitely known for their veggies as well, but their meat is what it's like a big thing. And, and I kind of agree on that. You want to taste what's, what's you know, the, 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 the nice raw flavor of everything and just really, you know, gather everything together. Very delicious, very simple, very simplistic. Refreshing salad because it's not heavy on the oils. So overall, it's just, it's, it's very simple, very nice, but it has a good flavor to it. I personally would add probably a little bit more of the dressing. Uh, just I like a lot of dressing on it. But even then, they say you can even add the chimichurri to it if you want. You know, add a little extra something something to it. Which they uh, they make their own chimichurri and they bottle it and sell it. So that's uh, that's another little plus side benefit there if you guys like the chimichurri. Yeah, the salad as salad goes, just a salad. It is good. But it's, 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 at the end of the day, it's, it's so sad. But it is definitely worth it. I just go with a nine. A lot of, lot of nice, fresh flavors. Um, it's, a, it's a nice, light summer salad. Uh, I'd say it's a solid nine as well. Jimmy Tree is a ten. Facts. As he keeps uh, pouring more and more on top of it. I did enjoy the chimichurri uh, on the empanadas. This is where I had it. Uh, it added a nice layer of extra zest. So let's go ahead and do this uh, beef. Uh, with broccoli in it. This is one of their lunch meats that they have as a, as an appetizer. And of course it comes with potato salad. Uh, so that's that's a bit of cheese, a little bit of broccoli, um, all mixed into uh, the sl slivers of meat. Mm. Peppery, break it down easily. It's good. You get some good gar garlic flavor in there. That's super good. Well, let's go ahead and try some of their potato salad, which comes with a nice large olive on top. Light, airy, has a lot of veggies. Honestly, I like I like this. This is actually good. I like the peas, the carrots, the simpleness of it. It's just it's a simple potato salad, but it's hearty, but it's light. It's nice and savory. Yeah. It's not, not heavy, heavy on salad. the mayonnaise. It's delicious. It's, it's really good. Definitely recommend it. Um, dish in general, this is something I'm not used to. Um, I love the potato salad, though. Potato salad is really, really good. Um, the dish, it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea, personally. But well, they, they also served it with a side of bread that you can make your tiny little sandwiches with ah. it. Cut, cold cuts like this is actually pretty common throughout Europe, uh, with where they have compressed it with several other things. They make a roll out of it and then spread down a, a layer of whatever they're going to fill it with and then compress it. No, it's, it's super delicious. It's very good, very simple. Um, I personally would rate this an eight. Um, just because it's it's not my kind of cup of tea, but with the sandwich and even then with the cherry, it tastes really, really, really good. So I give it an eight. Nice. What would you give it? Yeah, I would I would say uh, probably eight point five for me. Uh, I do enjoy how you can taste the garlic and the and the broccoli in amongst the lunch meat itself. So the next item we have here is the uh, lingua, the cow tongue, uh, in some nice vinaigrette. Uh, I highly enjoy lingua. If you guys have, as you guys have seen our other videos, uh, everything everything you like about beef is in the lingua times two. 
Um, the only thing that people usually dislike about it is the texture, which for me is a plus. Simple, it's very thinly sliced, very, very like, has a small amount of, ooh, small amount of herbal to it. The, 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 the oil and the herbs add a nice savory element to it. Um, you get wonderful beefy flavor. Again, super tender, it just falls apart. Um, so this is prepared differently from the, the other lingua I've had before. It's uh, served cold and uh, in oil rather than um, fried or boiled uh, in like a, a burrito or a stew. For me, I, I'd say this is a 9.7. I really enjoy it. I'd say first I go with the... Uh-oh. <clears throat> say 9.8. Because I feel like I wish I... I like... Um, I think the chimichurri would be even better on it. But obviously the chimichurri is just really good, so that's why. Other than that, it's just delicious. Y'all yeah. don't understand, like they make really mean chimichurri here. I'm definitely taking this with me back home. Okay, so as you guys can see here, uh, it's steaming now uh, from way before. Uh, what they do just to make sure that it stays hot is all they, it's a simple thing. Just they want to make sure they always keep it at a good temperature. So they just lift this part up, which it's very hot, but they lift it up and they put cold inside of it. There's a little tray that we actually saw. Then they put on top of this separate thing. So they just put more uh, coals, which is really dope. Put coals on the bottom to make sure that it continues to stay hot, but with uh, not also uh, cooking it too much where it's gonna go, you know, super well done and be like a, a rug. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab the, the first item. Oh, let's Start do this. with the blood sausage. I can eat this every day of my life and then never get sick of it. We fry ours though. In, in Puerto Rico, we, we, we fry our blood sausages. There's so many different variations of blood sausage around the world. Uh, I've enjoyed all of them. Usually it's the blood and rice mix in most cultures, plus whatever uh, different herbs. And usually it's very intense flavor. Mm. I'm buying another one. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Chimichurri obviously doesn't have flavor to it. 10 out of 10 reminds me of home. Just not fried, it's grilled, which is honestly, grill might be the way. But um, yeah, 10 out of 10. I buy it again. I'll buy some later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's some nice, lovely iron um, yeah. type flavor. If you, uh, for probably the closest thing for people who have an hand is probably liverwurst, uh, American liverwurst, or a very gentle form of that. It's very nice, comforting, um, very smooth texture to me. It sounds horrible. It's just rice blood of oh, a lot of seasoning. It's, it's delicious. But it's delicious. You think of blood, but everything, every, meat has blood. You, even when you eat steak, it has blood. You eat. Anything you have is gonna have it. So I mean, don't knock it. Try it. Let, try it and be like, oh my god, this is this. Enjoy it. You know? It's definitely very <laughs> enjoyable. Very Simple. smooth. Um, and next here we have the Argentinian sausages. So this is the uh, parrillada Argentina, which has skirt steak, short ribs, sweet bread, Argentinian sausage, and blood sausage, which is probably really, really good. It's one of my. Uh, I, ones I've really sausage. enjoyed that blood sausage. Let's see what the uh, the Argentinian sausage tastes like. So if you guys see the sausage here, it's just it's very soft, very. So I will try it without the chimichurri, just because you know. Mm. Mm, really good. Really soft casing to it. Yeah. And Delicious. They make it, and they make it um, healthy too. They have a lot of uh, herbs, herb flavors in it. Uh, so the Argentinian sausage is, is quite delicious. Uh, it has a lot of flavorful uh, herbs and spices in there that keeps it very mild uh, and light in the stomach rather than, you know, heavy because of how large of a dense sausage it is. Yeah. Compared to like a, a haggis or something like that. This is, um... So that's the... Sweet bread. Sweet bread. It's not actually bread. Sweet bread uh, is a certain cut of the meat. It's a name for thymus or pancreas, typically from calf or lamb. The rich, slightly giving flavor, so it's just uh, pancreas or thymus. Part of the thing. So it's super, super soft, uh, very flavorful. Can we get some more chimichurri? Machimichurri? Si. Gracias. That's how good it is. Delicious. I, 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 it is delicious. I, I don't really have much other words to say to that, that other than you, you should try it. You guys made that in-house, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna buy a Thank bottle you. after because yeah, you guys is, yeah, I love it. It's really good. So yeah, as you guys can tell, it's very, very, very good. The sweet bread, I'm a huge fan of it. Um, I know it sounds weird, but like I said, try it. No, it, it it's delicious. Don't don't let your pre-perceptions of something stop you from tasting wonderful food. I don't know if you guys can hear the sizzling all the way from the camera, but it's it's been cooking nicely the entire time here. Me personally, I go with the 9.5. Only because I feel like 
maybe some type of spice of some sort on it, but other than that, it's good. And honestly, it's out of the chimichurri if you really want it. Yeah, to me, to me, it's a nice soft meat. Um, I really like it. But that smoke. Item by itself, it's wonderful. I would say a nine point two for for myself. I'll cut this in half here. Ooh. And here we have the short steak. Uh, the quick skirt, cuts. skirt steak. Skirt. It cuts. Steak. Incredibly easy. It's just nice. Just and like that's butter. something about Argentinian um, meats is they just they're super tender. And it's just super easy to cut. One, just Here's barely a, touching it with the knife. Rare. I'll try without it, actually. Let me try it without. It's I'm super juicy, it. super fatty. Well, actually, it's not heavy on the fats, but it has enough fat for flavor. Very wonderful, beefy flavor. Uh, super tender. And the, the grilling, because of the charcoal, just adds another series of uh, textures and flavors to it. I really enjoy it. Um, I think this is an example of skirt steak. It's easily an 8.9. Juicy, tender is everything that you're kind of wanting from a skirt steak, which is traditionally kind of a cheaper, less tender cut, and they made it much, much higher than uh, you would normally get at a average butcher's by quite a bit. I'm going with 9.6. Um, Argentinians, I just, so far, I've never been at an Argentinian place that doesn't know how to use their meat. Hey, yo! Um, they, they, they cook it well. They're just, they're known for having, you know, having quality meat and, and cooking quality meat. Like, that's what they're literally known for in the world. So, so far, I mean, I mean, if they're bad, I would tell you, but they're, it's just, it's soft, it's tender, it's moist, uh, has a nice char to it. It's nothing too much. It's, it's just delicious overall, so. It tears apart real really easy. It's, it's, it's really nice. And here we have the short ribs, which are always, have always been one of my personal favorites. I'm um, no get a small piece on this and I'm gonna give you this bigger one because it's a lot of food. Excellent. By itself that's very very good. And of course with the chimichurri it's gonna be even better so I think needless to say I don't really have to say much about it. A bit hot but I'm really digging the flavors. A bit of saltiness to it. Fattiness. Again that super canvas. tender. Just a series of happiness all mm. through all throughout that meat. For me personally I'm gonna go with 9.8. Um, only because I wish they had more morcilla on there. But that's just me wanting like the thing I like the most. But in, overall, it's for the presentation, the amount of meat they have, the veggies, like all this stuff here. It's nice. And I, I love the fact that they put the coals on the bottom. It's actually really, it's really cool. They use and then real they have charcoal. This, yeah. And then they have the little like, they have the little wood part here where, you know, it's just a nice that little grill to put it on. It. So it's just, it's overall, I, I enjoy it. It's really dope. And honestly, you can feed quite a few people with this. Um, I'm it's definitely out, so. worth the, the money that you pay for it, yeah. which was like, you get that much beef for roughly around $60. Yeah, which is a lot. More more than worth it. The flavors are wonderful. Lots of meat. Yeah, me personally, 9.8 only because I wish I had more of that one. Um, maybe like an extra morcilla. Maybe make it like a total of three just because they're, they're good. But uh, that's for me, that's just me being picky, wanting more. I will be ordering some afterwards because I really do like it that much. Overall, I think that the meat plate is, uh, as you said, a 9.8, 9.9 for me. Absolutely delicious, a lot of flavor. And the presentation's fun. You know, it's just definitely a fun thing to do uh, with a group of your buddies. It's now mind it's you, good. add the chimichurri to it. It's their homemade, they make it in-house, it's their own recipe. With the chimichurri, I'm gonna say 10. And that mind you, this is our, our opinion. You guys might have different flavors, might have different profiles. Uh, definitely try that. There's two different ones, three different ones. Uh, you can try different meats, but uh, my, I'm loving it. I, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't go wrong. You really can't. It, it's, so now we're gonna move on to the sandwich here. So what we have here is the Lomita Completo. Yeah, comple yeah. yeah Lomita Completo, uh, completo, which is filet mignon, cooked to your taste with provolone cheese, ham, fried eggs, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on the regular French bread there. You got it? <laughs> Go ahead. You know. The flavors good. combine in a, a wonderful mouth rush uh, of freshness because of the tomato and lettuce. And then you get the taste of the uh, the ham um, slivers of the cheese. And uh, of course the delicious steak on a wonderfully soft bread. It's super good. It's just, you know, you get the egg, you get the meat. It just, uh, overall it just has a, a a nice, you know, it's simple. It's a, a nice, simple breakfast. You can, have for, you can have that for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You have all the different things, you know, it's just, it's delicious. 
and it comes with french fries. Uh, we got the garlic fries to go with it. Hot, fresh, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Little herbs on it, a lot of garlic. Some mayonnaise garlic. or ketchup you can add to it. Just very simplistic, you know, very good, simple. Of course, you know, add the chimichurri so it just makes it better. Ooh. Not for Or do you rate it? I really like this sandwich. Um, there's nothing I would change for, on it, Me personally. Neither. I think that's a 10 out of 10. I, I don't see how you can improve on that at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, I, I couldn't improve. The only thing I would add, not improve, well, it would improve, but I mean, my point is like if they didn't have the chimichurri, that's perfect as is. It's just literally perfect as is. But that chimichurri is fire. You can't, you just can't go wrong with it. The entire dish of fries, garlic fries, this is really good. I rated it a ten. I, I gotta agree on that. It's just, it's overall a really good dish. Delicious, delicious sandwich. Yeah. As well balanced. Um, it doesn't get soggy. Uh, it just all kind of absorbs together yeah. to, to burst of flavors. Definitely and recommend. Yep. As you can tell, we're very full. A lot of good food. Yeah. No. Uh, Overall, the experience, even like for a lot of people, there's actually some regulars here that, you know, they, they come here literally every day. It's a very calming, relaxed place, very nice ambiance, very chill, very uh, very friendly. They're willing to explain things. They're willing to go ahead and help people with stuff. Um, this is overall just a very nice experience, loving the ambiance. It's just overall just, just loving the food, the, the, you know, everything. Now, I believe we have a dessert coming. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a dessert coming up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and she's about to bring it to us and then we'll get it ready and tell you exactly how this dessert tastes. Okay, so here we have some desserts. Uh, so what is it what we have here? Yeah, pancakes con dulce de leche with ice cream. Okay, well, let's uh, dig out right in. Yeah, so I'm not a big chocolate fan. So let's go ahead and find out uh, how this is. So it's a, a very rich chocolate, so it's not my my flavor palette, but it is quite good if you like guys like chocolate. Very thin crepe, so very delicate. That's like some serious dulce de leche on this one. It's tres leches inside of a crepe and then the ice cream is like, uh, not regular ice cream. It's softer, it's good. It's just not, it's not regular, like regular ice cream, but uh, it's very delicious. I like it. 9.6, 9.8. I like it. It has. It tastes just like that. It tastes like you know, dulce de leche, with crepes and ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm not a fan of chocolate, but this is a good example of a chocolate dessert. Uh, for me, it's a, a seven. Uh, but like I said, I'm I'm not a chocolate person. Thank you for coming along with us on this this wonderful adventure. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be aware of the next time we post. Uh, if you guys like this content, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment uh, somewhere below uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, if there's another place in Vegas you want us to see, or someplace in your hometown. Oh, yeah. Um, overall, this has been a wonderful place. The staff is bustling all the time, making sure people are taken care of. Uh, and quite delicious. It's uh, here in, just off the strip of Las Vegas uh, in China, the Chinatown district. So, thank you very much, and as always, keep wandering. Aloha everyone, we're the Wandering Food Dudes, I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish. Join us as we travel throughout the U.S. promoting mom and pop restaurants. Learning of their culture through music, food, and drinks.